while configuring your Synology NAS you may have noticed that you have two folders with very similar names. So if we open FileStation, you can see that we have both a Home and a Homes folder. If you are familiar with the Linux operating system, you may have seen these folders before. However, if you are a Windows or macOS user, seeing both a Home and Homes folder can be a little concerning, especially if you are in the process of familiarizing yourself with DiStation Manager 7. On both Windows and Mac OS, you will find a folder in the root of your hard drive called Users. This folder will contain the profile for any user accounts that have been created on that computer. However, on a Synology NAS, while the Homes folder performs a similar function to that of the user account in Mac OS or Windows, because your NAS has been specifically designed to share data over a network, the folders in Homes have been created to allow the users of a NAS to have a personal network share that only they can access. Then, as our administrator's account is simply a user account with elevated access permissions, our administrator's account will also have its own Home folder. However, in order to perform certain tasks, such as make a backup or scan files for viruses, our administrator's account also needs to have full access to all of the data on our NAS, including access to any private folders found in Homes. So in other words, the reason that we can see both a Home and Homes folder is because the Homes folder is simply the parent folder to the Home folder created for our administrator's account. To demonstrate this point, if we log into this station manager using a standard user account, and once again open FileStation, we can see that as a standard user, we're only able to see a home folder. On our NAS, we can configure this station manager to automatically create a home folder when we create a new user account. Then if that new user wishes to privately save files onto our NAS, they simply need to save their files to their home folder. However, this behavior is not just limited to documents, as we can also configure a number of Synology applications to utilize the home folders. For example, in Audio Station, we can have a single music library that all users have access to. However, as not everyone will have the same musical tastes, we can use their home folder to allow them to have their own private music library. As you set up your NAS, you will find that other Synology applications such as Photos and Synology Drive will want to use Home folders. So if you suddenly start to see both Home and Homes folders appearing on your NAS, more than likely you recently installed an application that needs to use Home folders. If this is the case, when that application was installed, it will have prompted you to enable something called User Home Service. However, if you subsequently find that you do not want to use or you uninstall all applications that use home folders, as user home service will continue to run on your NAS, you will need to manually uninstall it. If we log back into this station manager using our administrator's credentials, by selecting control panel, and then user and group, if we select advanced, and scroll to the bottom of the page, we will find an option called Enable User Home Service. If we remove the tick from this option and select Apply, we will disable home folders. However, as this setting will not delete any home folders that have already been created, we now need to manually delete any unused home folders from within FileStation.